Shalom and blessed morning. So this morning, I wanted to speak to you guys. I actually got this um, idea to do this video because yesterday when I'm writing on my community post and I'm saying, you know, um, if you call on the name of Jesus, you can feel power. No other God can do that. And it just came to me like, what's all the fuss and fighting about if the truth is in the spirit of God that only comes by believing and calling on the name of Jesus? Why are there so many different religions? Why are there so many people fighting over who the true God is when it's evident who the true God is because of the God that has the, that has the spirit and that gives the spirit to those who believe? It's like it's try, the world is trying to make it so hard. Like Lauren Hill, like in Lauren Hill's song, it could all be so simple, but you'd rather make it hard. That's what it's like. It could all be so simple, but you would rather make it hard. It's like the world is trying to make it much more difficult than it has to be when all it is is Jesus told you he's the only way to the Father, and it is proof that he's the only one to the Father because he's the only one that can give you the spirit. Allah can't give anybody a spirit. He doesn't even say he's going to give you a spirit. He gives you the Quran, tells you what to believe, and then those who believe in that Quran live by the teaching of the Quran without the Holy Ghost or without the Spirit. Why do you think people who are religious are able to live in sin? They're able to drink. They're able to get high. They're able to have sex with a bunch of women or with a bunch of men. They're able to party. They're able to dress half naked. They're able to cuss. Everything that the world does, they are also able to do it freely without feeling bad about it because they don't have a spirit inside of them to convict them into what is right. They don't have the Holy Ghost inside of them to lead them and guide them into the truth so they're able to sin as much as they want to. They don't have a conscience. They don't have any cloak for their sins, like Jesus told you. So this is what is happening now in this world in Satan himself. He deceives you into thinking you got it right when you actually got it all wrong. Satan is the master deceiver. That's what people don't understand. Clearly, he has deceived the world because just think about it. With the two main religions in this world, Christianity and Islam, if Satan had not deceived anyone, then why are there so many people believing so many different things under the same religions, under the same book. It's mind blowing. And it's not just Christianity who has all the different denominations and sects and branches. It's, it's really crazy. But like, I, it's not just Christianity. It's also Islam. But how can you literally be following the same book and not believe the same thing? Did you ever think about that? You're following the same book, but for some reason, so many people believe so many different things about that same book. Why is that? Because so many people are, are thinking that they can interpret what it means. So many people think that they can have their own private interpretation of what the scripture means. This person over here thinks they got it right. That person over there thinks they got it right. That person down there thinks they got it right. But clearly you all didn't get it right because if you did, you would be on one accord. And that's literally what Jesus told you that he wanted. One accord, one body with the same mind because a house that is divided cannot stand. How can you stand against the enemy, against Satan and his angels, if you are not even together with what is true and what is not true? It makes no sense. This is why you need a leader. This is why there are prophets that have come from generation to generation to generation because you need a leader, someone who can tell you what is the truth with the spirit of God that has been given to me. And like Jesus told you in John chapter 14, I will post that in the description box. The spirit of truth is going to come unto you, but the world cannot receive that spirit of truth because the world does not know that 
that spirit of truth. But you, you will be able to know and recognize the spirit of truth if you have the spirit of truth dwelling inside of you. We are operating under the same spirit. This is nothing special that I have that you can't have. Well, actually, it is only me, though. I'm the only person who does have the spirit of the angel, Archangel Michael. But for the most part, everyone else in the world, it's only one spirit and one Holy Ghost. So we all could be on one accord. It's nothing special that you cannot have. It's not like I'm telling you, oh, I have the Holy Ghost and you can't have the Holy Ghost because you can have the Holy Ghost if you have a pure heart. Like I was saying in my description, I mean, in my, um, on my community post last night, if you have a pure heart and you bow down all the way on the ground on your face and you call out to Lord Jesus and you say to him, Lord, I believe that you are real, but I just don't know for sure. But I believe there's someone who is greater than I that I cannot see. Clearly, there has to be someone who is greater than I who created all of these wonderful things, who does all of these things, these miraculous things, even the way the body works. Somebody had to do that. So I believe there is a being who is greater than I, like I said, who I cannot see, but I need to feel you, Lord, just to know for sure that you are real. I am sorry for not living my life to please you. I am sorry for not believing you sooner or not trusting in the messengers and the people that you are sending to me, but I just want to know you for myself, God. I just want to be sure. I just want to meet you. Can you come to me and show me that you are real? And when you do that, he will come to you. And like I said, no other God will do that. You can call on Allah a million times and Allah is not going to come and let you feel his presence. You can call on Buddha a million times and Buddha is not going to come and let you feel his presence. But if you call on Jesus, I can promise you, you will feel his presence, but you have to be careful. You can't go down to him acting like you want him to prove himself to you. You can't go to him like that because he won't show himself to you that way. You can't have the attitude, well, I'll believe in you, Jesus, if you prove yourself to me. If you prove to me that you are real, then I will believe. That's the wrong attitude to have because Jesus does not have to prove himself to you. He wants to love you if you want to love him back, but he does not have to prove himself to you to give you the gift of everlasting life. He does not have to prove himself to you for him to help you. That's what this is all about. We're trying to help you to escape help you to escape eternal damnation. So we're trying to give you a gift that is going to save your eternal soul. Why do we have to beg you to believe in us or go out of our way to prove something to you so that you could be helped and delivered? You have to know that we don't owe anybody anything. So that's why it says thou shall not tempt the Lord thy God. We don't have to prove ourselves to you, but what we are here to do is to show you the truth, to represent righteousness, to represent holiness, to represent the Almighty God. And once you see that I am a representation of the Almighty God, then you hear my truth. And once you hear the truth, then you can start to receive the truth. Then you can know like this is what I must do to go before Lord Jesus to be in his presence and he will give me his Holy Ghost and his spirit. And that Holy Ghost is what's going to keep me. That Holy Ghost is what's going to guide me. So I don't have to worry about following man or what human beings say. Because the Holy Ghost is inside of me and I feel it. Yes, I am the human being that is here to lead you. But I'm not always around you. Actually, I'm not ever around you. I'm here making these videos sometimes. But what about the other times, the hours in the day that you're all alone and all by yourself. You need something that's going to keep you in the way. And that's where the Holy Ghost comes in. That Holy Ghost keeps you in the way. That Holy Ghost lets you know right from wrong. So you're not listening to what the preacher's telling you. You're not listening to what your friends are telling you. You're not listening to what your family members are telling you. You're listening to what you 
feel. You're following that spirit. You're following your what you know is right and the truth because you're keeping the word of God. You're reading the scriptures and you're keeping that hid in your heart so that you do not sin against the almighty God. And that's what I want to tell you. Like I said, there's no argument. There's no reason to fuss and fight about who the true God is. Because the true God has already showed and proved who he was to the nations when he overcame death and sent down his spirit and his power and his miracles to all those who believe. You have seen the power of Jesus Christ. That's the only reason why you're still talking about him after all this time. Jesus is the most popular being on this planet. Still, almost 2,400 years after he left this earth, he's still the most popular being that even exist to this day even when you watch a movie or watch a tv show you can't even watch it without somebody saying oh jesus christ christ this jesus christ they can't stop saying his name every day his name is continually being blasphemed because they know of him but they don't know of his power they do not fear him. They don't fear him, so they play in his face and play with his name. And that's where I come in. The mighty God, the Lord of hosts is my name. I will make his name glorious and I will defeat each and every one of our enemies by the power and the spirit that he has given me. We should all be on one accord under the same spirit. And that's what I came to do. Get my sheep all together in one body under me, the shepherd, the mighty God, and the everlasting king. Michael is my name. But you're about to see that in a second. It might seem a little bit confusing by me saying I'm the queen and I'm the king. But that's why it says in Revelation 22, and the spirit and the bride say, come, I'm two in one. So just get used to that. And this is the word of the Lord. Shalom.